Apparently, Endeavor was struggling with the idea of retirement. When it made its triumphant entrance at the California Science Center today, it was more than 15 hours late. Even for a commute in Los Angeles, this was a whopper. It took the shuttle more than 60 hours to complete the 12-mile route from LAX to the museum. On Friday, it snuck a late-night look at a donut shop and turned the 405 freeway into a shuttle crossing. Just such an amazing uh, bit of technology, history, adventure. When Endeavor arrived at the LA Forum yesterday morning, it was more than an hour ahead of schedule. Yet then, nearly everything seemed to slow the shuttle's roll. I actually thought I missed it yesterday when this morning I turned on the news and it was still grounded. I'm like, oh yeah, we're going to see it. The growing crowd, some suffering dehydration in the hot sun, got in the way. Endeavor's 78-foot wingspan nearly clipped buildings and trees. Moving at just one mile per hour, it wasn't even giving molasses a run for its money. The city had already cut down 400 trees and raised 100 power lines to give the five-story shuttle enough room. Yet dodging space junk is apparently easier than ducking power poles. Wow. Already high wires had to be lifted, while even more trees were trimmed. The shuttle lost more time when a scheduled maintenance stop stretched from two hours to more than five. Yet then came the final stretch, the shuttle shuffle down Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard, navigating historic pine trees planted in honor of the civil rights leader. In a city where three days of street closures are as welcome as a bad rash, welcome home, Endeavor! remarkably, all of LA seemed to rally behind this lengthy shuttle Endeavor. And it arrived here at the Science Center without a single scratch. Now after 123 million miles in orbit and 12 very challenging ones here on Earth, its final mission is now complete. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.